semester. I just can't seem to keep up with my project. Sorry, what's going on? Well, I'm working on this project for the um, clinic where I volunteer, trying to help them figure out uh, why people don't show up to their appointments. And I have all this information, charts, data. I can't put it together. I don't know what it means. I know what you need. What? It's called a process map. A process map? Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. I'll show you. Objectives. Define a process flow diagram. Identify the purpose of the process flow diagram. Identify pros and cons to using the process flow diagram and learn the significance of commonly used symbols in the process flow diagram. So can you tell me a little bit more about these process maps? Yeah, um, in fact, let's draw it out, okay? But I'm not that good at drawing, so... I'll help. Oh, great. You can use some chalk. Okay. And then we'll come over here. So can you tell me again about the parts of the map? Sure. Um, so like water, you know, a process map has to flow okay. in one direction. And you start with a circle. Okay. That you label start. Easy. Right? Okay. But if you don't do that, it's easy for people to get lost and they don't know where to start. Um, and then next, you're going to uh, put in tasks. Okay. Right? So things that need to be done or have been done or um, so make a rectangle. Okay. And then write in that task that needs to be done or is being done. And if you have more than one task, which you probably will, um, you just label them. One, two, three. More than one task is okay. Yeah, yeah you can just have multiple tasks. Are there other shapes? Sure. Um, if you, you can uh, put a diamond. Okay. And that's for decisions. All right. So something that a decision that needs to be made or has been made. So a circle is the start. Is a circle the end too? Um. Yeah. Exactly. So okay. after you've done everything, a circle at the beginning, your process, and then a circle at the end, labeled end. Okay. And so we've got start as a circle. Um, the tasks are rectangles, decisions are diamonds, and then a circle at the end once you get to the end. Right, but there's an important part missing. What? It's called the connectors. Okay. So between tasks and decisions, um, you need to connect those items. Okay. And so you can just draw a line, um, and you need to label the line. So commonly, it will be labeled the yes and no, or like if a decision needs to be made, and then if it's gonna be a yes, you go this way. If it's a no, you go this way. So it can branch. It can branch, yeah. Okay. But as long as it generally flows one direction. Don't go backwards. Right. Okay, yes. okay. Or left, right, and right, left, and yeah. Okay. Try, try and keep it logically flowing. Um, and then how do you, like when I show this to the people at the clinic, how are they going to know what all these different shapes are? Right. That's a good point because you're not actually going to label them a decision, right? So you're going to have a key on the side. Okay. So even if, you know, even if you make up your own symbols, that's fine just as long as you have a key, right? Okay. I mean, you may read somewhere on the internet that, uh, you know, a, a triangle or a diamond is not for decisions. It doesn't really matter as long as you're consistent. Just and, be consistent. Right. Okay. Now that we've learned the basics, let's trade this for this and apply it to Lily's problem. Let's go! So Lily, tell me the process again that you want to work on. Okay, so I'm helping this clinic figure out why their patients are missing appointments. Right. Uh, so the first thing that they do is, I guess they set up an appointment. Okay. You know, when people come into the clinic, they get an appointment for their, or they get a date for their next appointment. Okay, so that sounds like a task. 
to me is to like make that appointment yeah okay so that's gonna be a rectangle right all right make appointment right and like you use the verb there that's a great way to um, make a task okay with the verb start with the verb I don't have my start circle should I put one in yeah yeah Good okay job. start okay next step so the next thing that happens um, is the patient gets a little card like a reminder card uh, to take home with them okay. so that's another task okay. mm -hmm. all right so they have a task here and they're connected because it's flowing kind of from left to right so they get a reminder card right. so then they go home and they do their thing at home they live their life for a month and then they come back to the point they come back to the clinic so I'm wondering like maybe there's a decision in there maybe they decide Yes, I'm going to go back. No, I'm not going to go back. Right, because ultimately they have a decision or things come up. Yeah. So they might come back or not. And we actually, sense. we call them a week before their appointment to make sure that they remember okay. that they're going to come. So it gets kind of complicated. Same. Hmm. Um, so I think you said the patient needs to make a decision. Yeah whether they're gonna come or not. Yeah. It's like a yes, no thing, right? So. Yeah. So it seems like you could put a diamond. Okay. It seems like it. Um, I'm just worried that I'm gonna do it wrong, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's okay. I mean, you can put, you know, many, you can have many trials of this. You know, okay. you might find that it's not accurate, so you could redo it, or, you know, it's a work in progress. Okay. So. Yeah. So it's okay if it's not perfect. Sure, of course. I mean, you just need to get your thoughts out first. Okay. And then you can rearrange them. So I'm going to say here, there's a Y for yes, they decide to go to clinic. And then this branch is a no. Okay. I don't want to go. Okay. So I'm not going to worry about what happens down there right now. Okay. You can pick what, you're just going to go for the yes. So yeah. It, so say that's they come. easier. <laughs> okay. So then they have their appointment. Yeah. Okay. And then we kind of start all over again. Right. So is that a end? Or is that a loop around back to the beginning? Um, well, do you think it's an end? I think for what we're worried about right here, it's an end. Seems like it. I mean, they came to the appointment, so yeah. that, that process didn't go, well, yeah, it's an end, I think. And then I can add more about all the other stuff that could happen here. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So that's your, you got, you got it started, so I think you understand the basics of a process yeah, going up. Yeah, I do. There's different shapes that mean different things. Um, there's tasks and decisions and it's a way it kind of shows the relationship between them right and it's a different way of thinking of things and it gets you out of your norm all of these papers I have <laughs> that just say the same thing yeah yeah thank you yeah well I hope it helps yeah I think it might <laughs> I need something <laughs> Now, let's talk about what the process flow map does and does not do. It does provide a coherent picture of the system or process that is being analyzed, and it does aid in the communication, and it does aid in analysis of the process, and it does identify the current sequence of steps in a process, and it does signal where you want to collect data. Now the limitations and what the process flow map does not do is it does not identify causes of failure, it does not provide data analysis, it does not measure outcomes, it does not address quality improvement ideas, and it does not compare variables.
and it does not always include important detail. So that's a process flow map. Thanks so much, guys. Good job. Oh. <laughs> Today's program was brought to you by the letter P for process.